I just want to say hi and to say thank you to all of you that have been so supportive and have sent me such nice messages um, and showing me so much love. I really appreciate that more than you will ever know. So the last week, well, it's been, I don't know, I guess, probably it was like 10 days, if not more. I, I generally, the time goes by. It's just like been one of the hardest moments of my life. As you guys know, I have been trying to get pregnant for a long time. It's been many, many months. And when I finally took that positive test, I couldn't even believe it myself. Um, in fact, a few days before then, I guess like maybe five days before then, I took one and it was negative. And I just thought, it's, it's not our time yet. Um, but something in my gut told me to take another one and it came back positive. Um, and you guys saw that video. And I was overjoyed, I couldn't believe it. I was so, so excited about it. Always been my dream of having a big family. Then I went and organised my doctor's appointments and I was so excited when I was going. Um, I was like, I get to, you know, get to see my new baby and I got probably one of the worst news that an expecting parent could, could feel. Um, I even heard in my doctor's voice, she went quiet and it, our doctor is our friend, um, a close friend and so is a nurse. Well, the nurses there, they were there with me in my last pregnancy and they were always so supportive and so nice to me. And when my doctor went quiet, I knew that something wasn't right. And I was starting to get a little scared. I mean, when I was talking to the nurse before, I said, you know, like my morning sickness isn't that bad right now. Like it's there, but it's not that bad. And I didn't think it enough because I don't really know much about pregnancy. And I sat with the doctor and she said that my pregnancy, um, I can't even remember the word that she said, but basically was telling me that my pregnancy didn't look like it was going to go any further. And to expect the worst. And I didn't really know what she meant. Um, she basically was preparing me and telling me what to look out for the signs, what to do, um, and what will happen when it happens. Um, and she was talking about my baby not surviving. And I think I was just like so confused. I was overwhelmed by the news. And I think even she was. And you could tell like, I like, you could tell like when someone's a little, a little bit sad, and I just sat and I hugged my doctor for a while and I was so scared. My baby, I I calculated I thought I should have been around close to being nine weeks. Turns out I was so far off. Turns out I technically would have been about, I don't know, like seven, four days or something like that, seven weeks, four days. Turns out the baby was actually only nine, six weeks and one day. And there was no heartbeat. It looked like the pregnancy wasn't progressing. And I just remember just going, oh no. And I have no family here, so I didn't, I couldn't really go and speak to anybody. I just came home and my best friend was here. And my other close friend was there with me in the appointment. And I just remember just being like, I didn't even know, like I was in this bubble, I just couldn't even like believe it. And I spoke to my nurse, I cried with her for a long time and she was telling me like what might happen and what to expect and, and she told me that this is, this is a lot more common than I think. And I went home and I called my dad and I spoke to him for so long and I said, oh, I'm scared to go to the bathroom, I'm scared to just do something that's normal, you know, because I'm scared that I'm going to look and it's going to be, it's going to be blood, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be what I don't want. And my dad, he's been through three miscarriages with my mum, so he told me, like, it's okay, and I guess I kept saying, like, I was blaming my own body. 
myself I wasn't gonna cry, but here we go. But yeah, I was blaming my own body. I kept I felt like I was hating myself. I was hating I was just was so embarrassed. I was like, why can't my body work? Why can't it function? Why can't it hold a baby? Like what is going on? And I held it to myself for a while and I thought maybe I can post like you know, like happy pranks and content, but I couldn't. I couldn't in my gut because I knew like that's not what I'm going through right now. That's not what my family's going through. It's not what my friends are going through with me. I was like, I can't do that. So I decided after thinking about it and I felt so alone because I don't know anybody, like no one talks about it that much. So I was just like, I don't know what to do. And I just thought like, if there's anyone out there that's experiencing something that I'm going through or like, I don't know, understands it. I was like, if I can share my story about what I'm going through and I can help someone or make someone feel like they're not alone, then that's, that's what I want to do. And that's what I wanted to do with my platform. So I decided after a few days, it took me a few days to really think about it because I felt so horrible within myself. I felt so embarrassed and like, I was like, there's no way, like I can't, like, no one wants to see sadness. No one wants to see bad stuff, like about pregnancy. I see all these people that are pregnant and everything's just like, it just seems like happy. And I'm like, like, I can't post my sad story. Like I can't post what's going on in my life because I felt like I was like, like my body was, was broken. Like I felt like it wasn't working. So I, why would like, <laughs> But I wanted to do it because I wanted to help other people and I also didn't want to feel alone. So that's why I decided to post my story about what I was going through. And I appreciate so much all the love, all the support. Like it made me feel not alone and it made me feel like you know, this is common and I, I need to stop blaming my body. I need to stop blaming myself for if my baby doesn't make it. Like, that's not my, like, I can't, I can't keep blaming me. And I had to wait. I had to wait, like, I was way over a week to find out if my baby was okay. And when I tell you that was like one of the longest, like the longest times to wait and to sit and to wonder it was awful and I had like like you know like friends and family who didn't know what I was going through at that moment were coming up being like congratulations I'm so happy for you and I'm sitting there going like I kept saying to Maverick like I don't even want to hear this right now because it's so hard I guess some people are trying to say that I'm clickbaiting this couch and that to me is so disgusting and whoever thinks that that's okay to make hate videos or to say bad things about me going through this process and this hurtful time, like, I feel like they should be ashamed of themselves. I didn't think it would come to this. And I think it just makes your situation much harder. But I just want to say that I'm grateful for those of you that have been so kind and supportive and I this hard time like when like I think I would have made it so much worse if I didn't have you so they're supporting me and I just want to thank you I think I'm just going to try and I need some happiness in, back in my life and I think I'm going to try and like try and get back to posting regularly again and just know that I love you all so much and thank you and I'm not going to let these people that want to drag me down and I'm trying to talk about my as if I'm clickbaiting my baby being dead like that is awful do you think I would want that like I don't want my baby to die I don't want to lose my baby I think it's just disgusting like people would even say that and they should be ashamed of themselves if you're going to sit and make stuff up like that that's just not appropriate it's not it's not even it's just disgusting that's all I've got to say so I'll see you guys soon.